Hey guys, Spirit Wolf here, and welcome back to another part of um, Crash Insane Trilogy. Um, basically, last last um, episode we well we, we basically got that green gem, green gem, and we went to where the green gem is used. So that's what we've done, and we also got to here. So without further ado, let's get going. Um, we need to get the blue gem. When, when we get all these kind of gems... Oh, hello. Little instruction. I didn't know that. I sort of did, but I kind of forgot about it. These electrics. These electric is... Uh, very unforgiving. Anyway, I'm not going to focus too much on the boxes here, because we do need the blue gem. So I'm just gonna get to the. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna get to the end of the level. I think. Oh, I just missed it. Um, I'll probably do. I'll do the level in full. Um, when I get to when I get the blue jump. That's how I'm gonna tackle this level. So a really short level. Oh no way. <laughs> he uh, almost broke his back. Three more boxes than I would have been able to. Oh, generator room. This is a long level and it's also not an easy level. Oh, and also, Cortex is watching us. Nah, it's not that creepy. Actually, yes, it is creepy. It is very creepy, actually. Look at, look at that. How does, how is that? How does that work? How is a single TNT crate able to take that much weight, honestly, without blowing up as well? Anyway, um, I'm gonna save this for the bridge back. Um, ah, fucking fuck it. There we are. See, life is so much easier when you just ignore all the drops. Not that one though, we need that one. Um, yeah, if you if if you have shadows and stuff on, just pay attention to your shadow in this level. Weirdly enough, it's bright, so that's what you'll need. This bonus run is really hard because there's no there's no like stable footing. And also in the original, it goes from like broad daylight back to dark room. And this invincibility doesn't really help much. I guess it, I guess for that guy, yeah, but Thankfully there's no nitros in this game in this game, so I'm gonna wait for you to get that. I could probably get that because I'm bored, but bored waiting for this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I never knew you could kill the um, cameras, really. That's one thing I never really found out. I took a massive risk there, to be honest. Yeah, don't go for all the one through. You can... Um, you can actually fall down that little bit there. On the side. Uh, oh, not this. Well, I, I make this harder for myself by just doing that. Oh, three more crates. See, thankfully I had the master. This is why I hate the cameras in this game, because they they can hit you, they can not hit you. They'll leave you alone, they might not leave you alone. Um, but regardless, they're always staring at you. It's because they're cameras, they are 
Cortex. They are Cortex's cameras. I got pretty lucky. That was the orange gem. That was the orange gem, by the way. I did wonder what that was for a second. But that's the orange gem. This is the only game the orange gem is in as well, but we need the orange gem for upstream, which I'll do I'll do before I end the video actually. <coughs> ah, toxic waste. I do like this level, I find this level really fun, but it's also very frustrating because we need to get the blue gem and as this game has just literally just said to us just now, um, we need to break all boxes to get a special gem without dying. One thing I like this level for is it's music. It's brilliant. I mean, just listen. That's pretty good, don't you think? They've completely remixed it. There's more heavy metal, I think. I do like heavy metal, I mean I don't have a particular band I listen to, but... Um, I, I like... I, I like I like most heavy metal tracks, to be honest. But some people have favourite bands, and not so favourite bands. Um, some people just like all music. Now one thing for this level, I will go back. Um, there's little scrapes on the floor that I'm stood on. Um, they indicate where the ba bouncing barrels go. Bouncing barrels aren't that easy to dodge, actually. Oh, the last 13 boxes are here. Ooh. Oh, can I go over that? Yes, I can. It's amazing how much distance you can cover. Oh, it spawns you there, though. Luckily, it spawns you in between, so. Oh, I've almost got here. Thankfully, there's markings to where the barrels go. Yes, and there's the blue gem in our possession. Uh, I'll probably start the next episode with um, both rolling stones. Do that level properly. And uh, um, Cortex Power, get both of them. Pinstripe, Potteroo, or Potteroo, whatever you want to call him. Either way, he's annoying. His Tommy gun isn't always reliable. So what you need to do is you need to, um... <coughs> you need to pay attention to him, and when his gun... When he's reloading, or when his gun jams... That's when you can hit him. But otherwise, you need to use the furniture for cover. So when his gun jams like that, that's when you need to shoot him. There, when his gun jams there, that's when his uh, that's when he'll be dead or knocked out. The bot that boss isn't too hard, but it's not clear on how to dodge him first that uh, um, initially. Right, this level, the high road, bloody wonderful. I love this level. I don't, it's hard, but you don't need any kind of gems, so that's fine. Right, first of all... Um, 
There's four boxes back there, so try not to miss those. I just thought I'd get those for no reason at all. It's only a white gem here, so... Um... You know, you don't have to worry about dying so much. Unless you play on the original, then yes, you do need to worry about dying. Um, you will need to use... You will need to use turtles correctly um, to pass the level. The reason I say that is because the, the gaps are far too large to pass on your own. Why did you come there? Exactly enough for an extra life. I say I shouldn't have to worry about getting a game over, bloody hell. But I also don't want to die 90 times in a bloody level. How super boring would that be? Alright, come out. Right, that's it, stay over there. Let me jump over you, like so. Don't you find it weird that they just stay in the air like that? Oh, so you gotta wait for these slow asses just to go over there. There we are. You have to really use their hitboxes as well. And also, there's a particular box that um, is hidden from view. Not there though. That's death. Oh god, he takes up the entire bloody um, bridge part. Oh, what a plan. Wait for him to do that. There we are. Yeah, you gotta wait for them to do their courses, because the turtles can walk on the broken planks. No, why did I forget to jump? That, yeah, there's an outline, there's the outline there, that's the box that I'm talking about. You can actually see it from here. Level's not easy though. I got hit by the turtle. Yeah, this level's not easy though, as you can see, I'm struggling so much. It's not I don't really play it, that, I've not really played it that much. Like, this level's not really one that you have to revisit. Only for the relic in this version, but. Um. <clears throat> So, hold on. I almost, I almost left that behind, bloody hell. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, you can see the outline in the box there that you need to watch out for. It's not shown in the original, don't you dare. Oh, I'll jump over like that. Yeah, don't you find it weird that he could just hover above the ground like that? I wonder if I can do it more clear with this guy. Oh no, he's sound a bit of a bridge. I do like this music, it's pretty good. I was like, all the music's pretty good though. Yeah, so look, there's the um, crate there. I wonder if I can get it. I don't know I can, but oh, actually, this time I'll walk into our work. There we go, and then I can save that. Actually, I might, I'm going to wait for him to get up again. The ones that... The ones that are already flipped over won't, won't recover. So, 
so I've got a four messed up then. Oh, I've got that hell hole to go through there, look. I didn't want to go too far actually. Actually, that'll give me some of the lives back that I spent at the start. Bloody hell. There you go. I'm rather amazed that I've ended this. I'm gonna be ending this with 99 lives. Almost was a 98 if I managed to recover there. And they. Uh, did I just fall through that? Some someone rewind that and comment down below if I fell through that or not. I'm gonna rewatch that. But I swear I just I swear I fell through that. I'm gonna rewatch that, because honestly, but people people you rewatch that bit as well and you comment down below whether that that was bullshit or not. Because I don't know I don't know. Like honestly though, bloody hell. Like, that was new, that was a first for me, and I have played this game before as well, and I've never seen that happen. Alright, um, next level, and um, this is a really long one, so I'll probably do this one. Um, go back to, um, probably rolling, um, upstream actually. This level is really hard, and it's so bullshitty, no one likes it. But it's in this game, so we've got to do it. Now, the only good thing about this level is the music. It's very atmospheric. However, the the um, remixed the remixed version um, doesn't really do it much justice. To be honest, the old the old music's much better. The old music captures this level a lot more better. But this level, this music, this version as well does it does it good as well. Right, so there's two boxes here. In the original, it's much easier to get those boxes. In this version, it's not so much easier. And to make it worse, there's a red gem that you need to get in this level. This is the hardest. This is the hardest colored gem in in the game, and the hardest gem overall. I've mucked up entirely there. Um, this is the hardest gem, both colored and normal gem, to get in the entire game, just because of this level. Oh, he's cold. Um, right, so you need to time these birds. Um, well, a lot better than I've been timing them, definitely. Um, so the stairs, if you jump on them too early, you will slide down and you will die to, to the spikes. If you mess up with the birds, they will respawn, so don't worry about them. Like if you think that if you think you're gonna mess up on a um, on a bird, um, just jump back from that bird and it will respawn. Whoa. Yeah, see, so it's gotten harder a lot, and we've not even hit a checkpoint yet. And also, I'm just going to point out, not including the embryo st um, bonus stage, there is only that checkpoint there. There's only one checkpoint in the entire level. So if you miss an embryo token, you've got to just you've got to hope you can get to the end of the level from that checkpoint. And let me tell you, backtracking on this level is a bitch. Um, we're on the final stretch here. It's not as bad as Stormy Ascent, I'll give it that, but it's still the worst non-DLC level in the game. 
I really don't like it. Like these um, spinny things here, they they move. You've got to really, you've got to really pay attention. And also, you've got to hold A on the birds, otherwise you'll you'll fall short of your jump and you'll die. I'm not sure what these guys actually do. The ones in the cages. No, I'll probably just leave that accu crate until I get out of this level here. Now uh, this, um... I do not know how I managed to do that, but I've just done that, so... That just happened. Hold on, this is uh... I'd say you have to jump from that um, bouncy crate from the edge, otherwise you won't make it. On the right edge, not the left. This Aku crate is also the only Aku crate in, in the entire level. Oof. I'd say I'd rather him do that than... Is there no way for me to grab those? Actually, yeah, there is. I've got to get down from here. I've got to get down there again, though. Which is easier than I thought, actually, but... I'm right... I'm actually near the end now. I don't want to mess up. In the original, you do get one through for jumping on the birds like that, but not so much here. And look at that, look at that, there's the red gem, the hardest gem to get in the game. That's like several levels we've got to do now. Several levels have just opened up to us. Um, what I might do is I might end it here and I might make the um, other levels like their own video. Just like, because we've got the purple gem next video, so I might just go ahead and finish the game. Um, and I'll save the bonus level as well for um, that video. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to end the video here as well because um, we've got quite a few levels done as well. And also, I don't want this to be a, a really short, short series. I will separate this. So obviously, this will be um, this will be the Crash Bandicoot one portion. Then there'll be the two. Then the three. The three will be interesting because the three, the ba Crash Bandicoot three, I will actually get the relics because you need them to get the um, level twenty six to thirty. <coughs> so, um, on that note, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next video.